What's up, everyone? This is King Crypto. I'm finally back after a long winter's night, uh, and so is Crypto. It's good to see, but I've been in it for the long haul, and I hope many of you have as well. If not, welcome aboard. Looks like we're in a bull market now. I want to give you five good reasons why I think so. China is raising tariffs on $60 billion of U.S. goods. So this is definitely not very good news. Um, many markets, not just the Dow Jones, but many countries also took a hit as a result. There is a trade war now brewing between the U.S. and China, and both of these first world countries are definitely going to take its toll on other countries, right? So every time we see this kind of behavior, Bitcoin tends to do a little bit better. You can think of Bitcoin as an inverse correlationary effect. When the market does very poorly, Bitcoin shines. Let's not forget Bitcoin was developed as a means to hedge against traditional markets, right? So uh, this is one aspect of why Bitcoin pumped. Is it a reason why we're in a bull market? I believe it propelled us into a bull market, but there's more factors. The consensus, the consensus magic. Now, every year, we tend to see a great rise in Bitcoin and altcoins for some strange reason, except for last year. And I'm going to tell you last year, I think that happened mainly because people were too fixated on it, <laughs> fixated on it. And by then, we were already in a bear market. If you want to see for yourself, based on the long-term trends on the EMA 50 and 200, we saw the death cross occur on April. By the time it was May, it was a little too late. We almost hit it. If you actually see here, we almost crossed. They were touching. May 14th to 16th, but then it failed and it left us even further in a bear market, right? It, there's just no avoiding it. It had to happen as every bull market happens, a bear market happens too, right? But what I'm trying to say here is that the consensus pump is not a bad invalid thing just because of one bad year. Now, 2019, we've seen that there was a pump. So that means four out of five times we've seen a pump. 80% probability that when consensus rolls around, we're going to see very uh, positive price action. Number three is my favorite reason, at least, and I think it has the most validity on a fundamental basis, and that is that Bitcoin and crypto is resistant to bad news. This is a great indicator of whether you're in a bull market or a bear market. Uh, so essentially it goes like if you're in a bear market, good news and bad news makes the price uh, pretty much dump. And that's because good news doesn't do anything to the price and then people get upset and then they sell and it's a downward spiral. And the, it's the inverse of that if you look at it vice versa, which we're in now. In a bull market, good news and bad news tends to just bring Bitcoin up. As we could see, in the last two weeks, we saw Binance, the Binance hack that was $40 million worth of Bitcoin. We saw the Tether FUD and all that glory. And we also saw a congressman, Brad Sherman, who was pretty much saying we should ban all cryptocurrencies in America because we need to make sure the U.S. dollar is, uh, you know... I, Honestly, I'd rather not even talk about it. Just It just bothers me too much. But uh, anybody that's following crypto knows that this guy is funded by credit card processing companies. You know, the people with an agenda, right? So despite all of this, all of this happening, we saw in May this beautiful trend, this parabolic move up. I don't know what could be said. I remember when the ETF thing was such a huge deal to everybody like we needed it so bad and now nobody cares right because we're in a bull market when you're in a bear market you focus on things like that you know you're just hoping oh god why do i have to deal with this another day longer why does it keep crashing and there's nothing we can do about that just like there's nothing bad news can do to bitcoin now 
Okay, let's talk about some technical analysis. This is pretty straightforward, but very important to understand, to, to see why things are going so well. So the EMAs have crossed, the 50 and 200, and this is a perfect indicator of a long-term trend. The 50-day crossed the 200-day, and this typically means we're in a bull market. It's happened a few weeks ago, and ever since, we have seen the momentum shift parabolically upward which is in part why bad news isn't changing anything. Uh, so they work hand in hand in this way. Uh, just like we saw a year ago when we had the death cross and uh, we had what was an un unrelenting bear market. So we also have a super trend here. That's just like a little thing I like to use to figure out when to buy or sell and it's typically pretty accurate. And it's almost a little too easy. It's almost unfair. But uh, it works for me most of the time. So we have that in February. We have the EMAs in April. And then we have this line here, which is a local top resistance point when, when Bitcoin was around these levels fighting. And uh, Sonny Decree actually talked about this line a bit and why he believes that once it was broken, we were in a bull market. And I can post that video as well. Uh, however, we are above the 7,500 level, and we are comfortably on top. Uh, so if you add all these things together, just like I was saying, any one reason we're in a bull market might be kind of a reason. But if you add everything in a perfect storm, it's like a, it's just a cyclical event. So, and nevertheless, technical analysis is a lot like that too. So we see that we have the EMAs that are in perfect momentum in the uptrend. We have super trend saying to buy. We have comfortable levels on top. We're in a very comfortable position where there's a very, very, very low probability that we could go back into some kind of bear market or some kind of crash. And then number five, we got to talk about the good news too. Uh, we could see that Fidelity, not just Fidelity, but uh, institutions are scrambling to get in ahead, uh, which is Fidelity, Meritrade, and E-Trade. And we can see that Fidelity will begin buying and selling Bitcoin for its institutional customers in the next few weeks. And you know what? These institutional customers who are accustomed maybe to a traditional market, which is failing them right now, and then they're seeing Bitcoin is rising, it's not a hard conclusion to make that these people might end up buying Bitcoin as well to hedge against uncertainty in a trade war or uncertainty in the next election. Because we all know a politician can, or a president has a great influence on how people perceive, perceive the financial future of America. Uh, so that is essentially what I'm trying to say here. There are five very good reasons on their own, I would say maybe number three and four are a little bit stronger, but if you combine everything, it is the perfect storm for what I can deem a very comfortable bull market. And that is why I made this video. It's why I want to start talking more about crypto, because I'm honestly very excited. It was a very sad and cold winter for me, seeing crypto in this state so I'm just so happy to see things turn around here and I hope you guys are too if you're new please subscribe I'll be making videos every day and trying to contribute as much information as possible that's all everybody have a great day see you soon